Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're over 60, and you've recently found yourself suddenly hating something you used to enjoy, pay attention. Today, I'm going to share five alarming sudden hatreds that could mean dementia is beginning to take over. Some of these may surprise you, and some may hit close to home, but all of them are signs you can't afford to ignore. By the end of this video, you'll not only recognize these behavioral red flags, but you'll also understand the brain chemistry behind them, and what you can do starting today to protect your cognitive health. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss the next videos in my channel. Your future brain will thank you. Let's begin with the first, a behavior change I've seen firsthand that's as subtle as it is dangerous. Number 1. Avoiding a once-loved social hobby I've seen this more often than people realize is this. Completely abandoning a social hobby you once loved, and not because of physical limitations. I didn't come across this warning sign in a textbook or even a research article. I first heard about it over lunch with my golf group, from Linda. She told me about her brother Paul, who had been an active member of his local bridge club for over 20 years. One day, without any argument or injury, he just refused to go. It's too noisy, he snapped. I can't stand it anymore. But here's the key, nothing about the club had changed. The same friends, the same pace, even the same snacks. What had changed was Paul's brain's tolerance for social interaction. Science suggests that in early dementia, areas like the amygdala and prefrontal cortex, which help regulate emotional responses, can become inflamed. This neuroinflammation increases sensitivity to sensory input, making once pleasant environments feel overwhelming or irritating. A study in Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience, 2019, found that seniors showing abrupt withdrawal from social activities had higher markers of brain inflammation and were more likely to develop measurable cognitive decline within three years. When these sudden social aversions appear, families often assume it's depression, shyness, or just getting older. But the pattern matters. When a beloved activity becomes unbearable overnight, it's a red flag worth noticing. If you're watching this and thinking, oh, that's just dad being grumpy, pause for a moment. Sometimes, the grumpiness is your brain's cry for help. Try gradual exposure instead of sudden reintroduction, shorter visits, fewer people, quieter settings. Maintain light physical activity before social events, as movement can help regulate brain inflammation. And don't underestimate the power of structured routines. Predictable timing and familiar faces can reduce sensory stress for a sensitive brain. Now, this type of sudden hatred may seem dramatic, but what I'm about to tell you next is even more subtle and it hides in plain sight at the dinner table. Number 2. Rejecting a favorite food at first glance, you might think it's just changing taste buds. But here's where brain science comes in. In early dementia, especially Alzheimer's, changes in the orbitofrontal cortex can distort taste and smell processing. This isn't just about flavor, it's about how the brain interprets that flavor. Neuroinflammation and oxidative stress in these regions can turn pleasant sensory experiences into unpleasant ones. A 2017 study in chemical senses found that diminished or altered taste perception in older adults was significantly associated with early cognitive decline, especially when it developed suddenly rather than gradually. Dr. Karen Miller, a neuropsychologist at the University of Southern California explains, when the brain's sensory pathways are inflamed or disrupted, it can misinterpret taste signals, leading to sudden aversions that seem irrational but are actually neurological in origin. When seniors start avoiding specific healthy foods, like omega-3 rich fish, it can accelerate nutrient deficiencies that make brain inflammation worse. It becomes a vicious cycle. If fish is now unpleasant, try omega-3 rich flaxseed oil in a salad. Experiment with gentle flavor masking, pairing with herbs or mild sauces that don't overwhelm. And keep meals in familiar settings, since environmental comfort can soften sensory rejection. Food aversions may look harmless, but when they appear suddenly, they can be the brain waving a red flag. You can support this channel by tapping the like button, 
It helps this information reach more families who need it. We've seen how the dinner plate can quietly signal trouble in the brain. So what's the next warning sign? It doesn't show up in your kitchen, it strikes in the heart of your closest relationships, often long before anyone suspects dementia. Number 3. Irrational dislike toward a loved one changing tastes can be frustrating, but when the brain starts rewriting how we feel about the people closest to us, that's when the warning signs turn deeply personal. This kind of emotional rewiring doesn't just strain relationships, it can quietly reshape decades of trust and affection. Over time, this disruption distorts how the brain processes social cues, creating moments of irrational resentment or hostility toward even the most trusted loved ones. The Journal of the Alzheimer's Association found that early behavioral change, especially sudden negative feelings toward close family members, were linked to faster progression from mild cognitive impairment to full dementia. Dr. Maria Carrillo, the Alzheimer's Association's chief science officer, notes, these behavioral shifts are not character flaws. They're symptoms of a brain under neurological stress. So what can you do if you notice this? First, avoid confronting in the heat of the moment. Step back, take a breath, and allow a few minutes for both sides to settle. Escalation in those moments often locks the brain into a defensive state. Second, when you re-engage, use a calm, reassuring tone, maintain soft eye contact, and keep your hands relaxed in view, these non-threatening cues can reduce perceived danger in a stressed brain. Finally, create neutral spaces for interaction, such as a quiet park bench or a short car ride with soft background music. These low-pressure environments reduce sensory overload, making it easier for the person to feel safe and connected. Emotional changes like this can feel personal, but they're often anything but. Recognizing the cause early gives families the chance to respond with compassion instead of conflict. The next sudden hatred may seem almost trivial at first, yet it can reveal a hidden sensory overload that pushes the brain into defensive mode. Number 4. Refusing a familiar environment Some sudden hatreds aren't about people or food, they're about places. I met George, a retired postal worker, during a community health workshop. His daughter told me he had suddenly started hating her house, the same home where he'd spent every Christmas for 15 years. The reason. He claimed the living room felt wrong, and the lights hurt his head. This isn't stubbornness. In dementia, changes in the parietal and occipital lobes can alter how the brain processes space, light, and noise. These regions act like the brain's internal GPS and visual interpreter, when they're affected, familiar rooms can feel distorted, hallways seem longer or narrower than they are, and normal lighting may suddenly appear too harsh or too dim. Even subtle background noises, like a ticking clock or humming refrigerator, can feel jarring and overwhelming. A living room that once felt warm and familiar can suddenly feel disorienting, even threatening. Dr. John Morris, from the Washington University Alzheimer's Disease Research Center, explains, the brain begins to misread visual cues, making ordinary rooms feel unfamiliar or even hostile. First, simplify the visual space, remove busy patterns on rugs or curtains. Use soft, even lighting instead of harsh overhead bulbs. And when visiting a place that triggers discomfort, stay for shorter periods and provide a quiet corner or seat near a window where the person can decompress. If you notice someone withdrawing from a space they used to love, it may be their brain asking for relief, not their heart rejecting the memories tied to that place. Consider sharing this video with one family member today. You might help them spot a change they've been overlooking. And the final sudden hatred we'll discuss may seem trivial at first, but it can be a direct reflection of the brain's fight or flight system going into overdrive. Number 5. Intolerance to everyday sounds This is one most families don't see coming a sudden intolerance to everyday sounds. We're not talking about loud concerts or construction noise, but the soft clinking of cutlery, the hum of the refrigerator, or the chatter in a small cafe. These ordinary sounds, once harmless or even comforting, can suddenly feel unbearable, triggering irritation, anxiety, or even physical discomfort. In dementia, 
Changes in the auditory cortex and amygdala can heighten the brain's threat detection system. Sounds that were once barely noticeable can suddenly feel invasive or even painful. This overreaction isn't imagined. It's a form of hyperacusis, where the brain's filtering system for sensory input starts to fail. A 2016 study in the Journal of Neuroscience found that older adults with mild cognitive impairment showed increased neural activity in response to moderate everyday noises, suggesting the brain was processing them as potential threats. So, keep background noise to a minimum. For example, turn off the TV or radio during meals so conversation can happen without strain. When you go out, choose quieter public spaces like small cafes with carpeted floors, padded chairs, or curtains, as these soft furnishings help absorb sound. If you must be in a noisy place, such as a busy restaurant, ask for a table away from speakers, kitchen doors, or high traffic areas. And for added comfort, consider soft, discreet earplugs made for sound sensitivity. They lower noise levels without blocking voices completely. If a loved one starts avoiding gatherings or public spaces because of noise, don't dismiss it as antisocial behavior. Instead, see it as their brain signaling it needs a calmer environment to feel safe. We've covered five sudden hatreds that can quietly signal dementia is beginning to take hold. Some hide in your taste buds, some in your social life, and some in the way your brain reads light, space, or sound. If you've already recognized these signs, act early and intentionally. That means documenting the changes you observe, including when they started and what triggers them. Share these observations with a qualified healthcare provider for proper assessment, because early evaluation opens the door to treatments and lifestyle adjustments that can slow progression. At home, focus on reducing brain stressors, simplify environments, maintain predictable routines, and ensure nutrient-rich, anti-inflammatory meals are part of daily life. Before you go, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever noticed a sudden change in your own likes or dislikes, or in someone you care about. Share your experience in the comments. Your story might help someone else spot the signs early. Click the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when the next episode in our Dementia Sign series is live. Remember, one of the most surprising facts we shared was that sudden changes in emotional preferences, like those intense new dislikes, can appear years before memory loss. Knowing this gives you a head start.